Hello, health department? I think I might have gotten food poisoning from the Super Duper Diner about three to six hours ago. I'm not really sure though. Have you had any severe symptoms? Like dehydration or fever? Not really, I just had really awful cramps and nausea, not to mention lots of vomiting and a little bit of muscle weakness. It does sound like food poisoning. Most likely caused by the Staphylococcus aureus enterotoxin. For your type of food poisoning, people typically recover within 24 hours, but we'll meet you at the Super Duper Diner, just to be sure. All right, thanks. Welcome back to the Super Duper Diner. I think I might have gotten food poisoning from that chicken, turkey, cheese, and milk pudding special that I had earlier. I mean, I don't want to accuse you of anything, but it's only been three to six hours. I don't feel awful. The health department's on the way. I don't understand how this could have happened. The health department is here to explain. I'm Dr. Anderson and this is Dr. Granger. Based on Abby's symptoms that she described to me over the phone, we believe that she has Staphylococcus aureus enterotoxin related food poisoning from your restaurant, the Super Duper Diner. Now official tests are only done when we suspect an outbreak, but in the event of an outbreak there are several tests to confirm the Staphylococcus aureus enterotoxin food poisoning such as the latex agglutination test or a stool examination. Gram stain and culture are also indicated. But since it's only been three to six hours ago, we may still have an outbreak on our hands that we're just not fully aware of yet. So we'll investigate, but hopefully Abby is the only one that's been infected. That aureus and terotoxin, I don't even know what any of that is. Well, and uh, enterotoxin affects uh, the GI tract, and there are actually eight different enterotoxins produced by Staph aureus. However, uh, enterotoxin A is the main cause of food poisoning, so we won't worry about the rest. It's a spherical gram-positive bacterium, and most strains of it are highly tolerant to salt and sugar. It looks a little something like this. So how did I get this three to six hours ago? How does that even work? The main way the Staphylococcus aureus enterotoxin is spread is through people who eat the contaminated food. Now people can contaminate food if they have the bacteria and they're preparing the food, or the bacteria can also be on unclean surfaces. It can also be spread when you eat unpasteurized dairy products. What did you eat anyway? Um, just some chicken, turkey, cheese, milk, and pudding. That makes sense. The most common cause of Staphylococcus aureus food poisoning is when hot foods aren't kept hot enough or cold foods aren't kept cold enough. Uh, also, once the uh, Staph aureus enterotoxin is ingested, it acts as a super antigen. Now what that is, is uh, it can overcome your body's natural instinct to destroy it because it's uh, very heat stable and resists destruction by enzymes in your digestive system. The vomiting symptoms you've had from eating the contaminated food three to six hours ago are very common because that's how the bacteria is actually expelled. Well, what should I do? Unfortunately, there's not a lot you can do. Antibiotics are pretty ineffective against food poisoning, and trust me, I wish I could tell you otherwise. This is because there's more than 20 different antibiotic-resistant strains of Staphylococcus aureus enterotoxin. It's a pretty big issue we're seeing today. A lot of common antibiotics like penicillin, and methicillin, and vancomycin aren't helpful at all. Specifically in hospitals, methicillin is a big issue because it's so difficult to treat and it spreads from patient to patient. In fact, most beta-lactam antibiotics don't work because the bacterium produces a penicillinase enzyme that inactivates the antibiotic. So all I can do is wait it out. It's already been three to six hours since I ate the contaminated chicken, turkey, milk, and cheese. Basically, yeah. I mean, you need to make sure you get plenty of fluids in your system to keep from getting dehydrated. But yeah, that's about all you can do. You'll recover fine though. The elderly and very young are the ones that are most likely to experience the more severe <laughs> symptoms. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow, I've learned so much. I realized my mistakes three to six hours ago have huge consequences. 
To keep this from ever happening again to any of my other customers, I'm going to make sure to keep all my utensils clean and surfaces clean as well. And uh, don't forget to keep hot foods over 140 degrees Fahrenheit and cold foods under 40 degrees Fahrenheit, especially if people aren't going to be eating them for two hours. Okay, I'll be sure to do that. Well, Abby, good luck with your next unpleasant 24 hours. Thanks for coming to confirm what I had. Oh, it's no problem. cheese, milk, and pudding three to six hours ago as well? And now you're throwing up? Oh, I'm sorry. Great. Looks like we might be having an outbreak after all. This will not be good for business. I'm so sorry. Would you like a Dr. Pepper? Oops, almost forgot my bucket. <laughs> mm. Never mind. Arius enterotoxin related food poisoning from your restaurant, the Super Duper Diner. Now <laughs> 